My name is Miss Kim and I'm a children's programmer from the Brantford Public Library and we have been missing everybody from story time since the library has been closed. So we thought we would bring some of our favorite songs and rhymes to you at home so that you can follow along with us. And we're also going to tell you a little bit about why we choose certain songs because it's very interesting. Today we're going to talk about counting songs. And a lot of these songs you might already do at home already, which is great. Counting songs are really important for teaching children the order of numbers and to teach them how to count forwards and songs that help them to count backwards. And because you're singing together and having fun, that's when the best learning happens, when children are interested in what they're doing and having fun. So singing these songs together will be a great way to teach them their numbers. The first one we're going to do is a counting up song, which is important to master before you do the songs that are counting backwards. So the first one we're going to do today is called, Where is the Beehive? So everyone at home, do you have, let me see your fingers that are ready for counting. We're gonna put one away and fold this one into a beehive. <gasps> I can hear them inside. Here we go. Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, And you can, parents, you can give your child a cuddle or a tickle at the very end to make it super fun as well. Should we try it again? Let's see your beehive, everybody. Ready? Fold it into a beehive. Are you ready? Here is the beehive. But where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, what's next? Five, they're alive. <gasps> Great job, everybody. Give yourself a big hand. That was fun. Now we're going to do a counting down song. And you may even do a lot of these at home already. You think of songs like Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed or, or Five Little Ducks. You're counting down from five. So this one is called Five Fat Sausages. Okay, everybody, let's get ready again. Have you got your five sausages ready? Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five fat sausages sizzling on the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Four fat sausages sizzling on the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! How many are left? One, two, three fat sausages sizzling on the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Two fat sausages sizzling on the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam! Good job! <gasps> Only one left. One fat sausage sizzling on the pan. The grease got hot and what happened? It went bam! Great job! That's a super fun song that teaches your children how to count backwards, but also they love it because it has that bam part and you can build up the anticipation, um, say what happens next, and they love that part. This is also uh, the kind of song that children could do at home where they could put five stuffies in a row five of anything in a row and sing a song or make up a song where they take one stuffy away at a time. And that way you're teaching children that 
a number represents something. It's not just a word. So if you have three stuffies left, they recognize that three means three of something. So things that you didn't know. So that's an example of a counting up song and a counting down song. There are tons of opportunities at home and outside, uh, going to the grocery store where you can um, teach counting, such as you go outside for a walk and how many trees do you see? How many cracks in the sidewalk? Um, at home, you could count stuffies or count your toys as you're putting them away. Even when you're having a snack, you could say, how many cucumber slices would you like? Let's count them out. There's lots of opportunities um, for learning and to make it fun in your everyday um, things that you're doing. So thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more fun songs and rhymes that we do at Storytime. And we can't wait to see you again. So bye for now. Bye.